back to Nadine's Zipty Crafts. Alright guys, so today I'm in a bit of a rush because guests are coming over and we don't have anything sweet to give them. So today I'm going to be making a cake, chocolate cake, not from scratch because we don't have a lot of time. So over here the cake box cake that I'm using is Devil's Food Cake Mix and it's extra moist. So that's the um, box cake you're going to be using. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and let's just try to do this video fast. Well, let's get started. All right guys, so for this cake, you're gonna be needing your cake right for of a cup of water and then you're gonna be needing three, and third, sorry, of a cup of vegetable oil. Something to mix your batter with. You're gonna be needing three large eggs, um, like grease spray for your pan. And then the things you're gonna be using, the pans that you're gonna be using to put your batter, put your batter in. So I'm using two, so what I'm, my idea is, is I'm gonna fill it up and then I'm gonna bake it, and then I'm gonna try stacking them on top. So yeah, that's what you'll need. All right guys, so the first step we're gonna do is put all of our ingredients into our cake mix. So you're gonna get your three eggs and crack them. to put our cake mix, which should look like this once you stir it really nicely. You're going to get your, you're gonna grease your pan with your little um, vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. What we're gonna do is you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we are going, so what I'm gonna do is half of the batter is gonna go in this pan, half of the batter, and the other half of the batter is gonna go in this pan. Yeah. You're gonna get your little tool and start pouring it in your pan. And you can use any pan you would like. All right guys, so now that you've put it in the batter in your pan, so what you're gonna do is now that you've preheated your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and it should take about 28 to 30 minutes, and then when you take it out, go do the trick that I showed you guys on my last baking video, which is banana bread. If you haven't checked that video out, go check it out with my little sister, Medea. But yeah, so that's what you're gonna do. In the oven, we are going to be making, plating to make it as like the filling inside the cake. So the, I'm using instant jello pudding, and I'm using banana cream flavored. So what you're gonna need is your pudding mix. You're gonna need three cups of milk. You're gonna need something to wix your pudding with. And that's pretty much it. So now we are going to pour our pudding mix into the uh, three cups of milk. So yeah. Now let's stir. All right, so once you've mixed the pudding, it should be very thick, just like this, because it's instant pudding. It should have took you about five minutes. It took me about like five minutes. So yeah, this is how it should look like when it is finished. So these are how the cakes are going in the oven. All right guys, so it's been 30 minutes, the cakes are done, they're out of the oven. And now I'm going to do a little flip, so I did this one. So the first cake we're gonna put on another plate, and I'm gonna flip this one, so I wanna show you guys. So you're gonna get your pan, you're gonna put a plate, and you're gonna just flip. Now we're gonna keep tapping, tap, 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 all around the sides, and it should come off. All right, guys. So now you're gonna get your pudding, and you're gonna go ahead and put it on one side of the um, cake. So we're gonna put it in the inside. Make sure you don't put all of it, cause we need some for the outside. over here and I put all of the pudding there. So we're going to hope that I don't break this. <laughs> okay. And we're going to just put it on top. Alright guys, so it actually kind of looks like a giant macaroon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the rest of my pudding and I'm going to put it all around the cake. Now you can do this part if you want or if you don't want. So 
So that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the time. finishing cake i hope you guys like it um i hope you guys like how i did it with the sprinkles so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop it in the fridge for an hour and then you can take it out and eat it if you want but we're going to keep it in the fridge for the guests tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and follow it along so yeah i will see y'all next week bye make sure to leave a like and subscribe